The United States has secured the return of Private Travis Keen from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The U.S. soldier who illegally crossed the border into North Korea is in U.S. custody. Private Travis King made a sudden dash into the North in July. U.S. officials told reporters he appeared to be in good health and spirits and was very happy to be on his way home. The Swedish government retrieved King in North Korea and brought him over the border into China, where he was taken into U.S. custody. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller. I would not want to speculate on any motivations uh, on the North Korean side, and I don't know that I would, uh, would, would, uh, would take from this that it heralds some breakthrough in diplomatic relations. Obviously, we're um, uh, pleased to have secured his return. We're very thankful for the government of Sweden for their work as the protecting power that they did to help um, uh, facilitate his transfer um, uh, back to the United States. At the time of his border crossing, King had been transported by the U.S. military to the airport to return to his home unit in the United States. Instead, he left the airport and joined a tour of the joint security area on the heavily fortified border between North and South Korea, where he ran across despite attempts by South Korean and U.S. guards to stop him. His shocking case triggered heated discussions within the U.S. government, but Washington declined to declare him a prisoner of war. Instead, North Korea appears to have treated his case like one of illegal immigration. Pyongyang has said he was seeking refuge due to racial discrimination within the U.S. Army. A spokesperson for King's mother expressed her gratitude to the Army for securing her son's release. A U.S. official declined to answer directly whether King would face a court-martial.